Oh my goodness, the Gravedigger's back. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, Happy Trees here. And I just wanted to go over the patch notes, uh, 6.1 patch notes, and take a look at what's coming up next, because it's really exciting. We're getting the Gravedigger back, which is really cool. So this is a really good update, and I'm just going to be going over the Save the World stuff, but Battle Royale's getting something really cool. The, the Quad something another? Quad Crasher? That thing's amazing. Why can't we get a four-wheeler? Run over terrain and stuff? That'd be cool. You could just make it like a a bad handling hoverboard or something. That'd be... Man, we could use that and save the world. That'd be awesome. But yeah, anyhow, we're getting... This is going to be a really big patch. Uh, I don't know. Not huge, but we're getting some really awesome things out of it. We're getting the Gravedigger, <clears throat> which is one of the most... I don't know, sought after assault rifles. One of one of the most popular weapons. And we're getting that back, so that's super amazing. We're also getting the Rat King. It's one of the new rat rod weapons out of that set. Uh, looks like an assault rifle. Send a stream of slugs towards enemies with this new semi-automatic weapon. So, it's a semi-auto. It's probably going to be similar to the Hunter Killer. Not really for me, but... So far, the rat rod weapons have been really good, so this one probably isn't going to disappoint either. And it looks cool, though. It looks really cool. And also, they're adding in a new type of mission. They're calling it Beta Storms. Uh, beta Storms are avenue for testing all kinds of new content. This gives us a chance to see what you think of new content and experimental ideas. And this week, that Beta Storm mission is going to be a Retrieve the Data mission. And it sounds like it's going to be something similar to uh, Battle Royale, where there's storm... We'll close in on the objective, and the area to defend will just get smaller and smaller. So that's really neat. They're testing out new content, so you can up the variety of the missions. I like it. It's really cool. And the rewards you get for doing these beta storm missions are pretty good. They're the same as uh, the mini-boss missions right now. You get the three bonus rewards. It'll be like two evolution materials and then one gold at the end of it. So three three extra things on the mission. Pretty good. And also they're switching up the power level restrictions on missions. So pretty much how it works is if you go into a private game and you're a higher level, you can take your lower level friends with you to whatever level missions you want. But if you're in a public game, you can't do that. Uh, they've put new restrictions on that so that uh, other people... At higher levels going into a higher level mission don't get stuck playing with the uh, your low level friends they also fix the thing where if you do a four player mission uh you only had a chance to get fire and water in those missions but now they changed it so it's going to include nature enemies and also one of the coolest thing is they added dupe prevention for mythic lead survivors when a llama rolls a mythic lead survivor it will select one that is not already present in your inventory or your collection book. So that's awesome. I I need one Mythic Survivor, and I have been getting duplicates of other ones, so this is pretty cool. And it also seems like, just to me, that Mythic Survivors have been more common. Last Super People Llama, I got uh, two Mythics out of two Super People Llama, and there was just a Super People Llama in the store today, and I bought two of them, and I got one Mythic out of it. So maybe I've just been getting lucky, but I don't know. It seems like we're getting more, a higher chance at Mythic leads. And another one of the bug fixes is the Riot Husks now trigger traps. So that was a big deal. I, I thought that really sucked, but it kind of seemed like they were getting stuck in the traps anyway just because they walk slower and the other husk would catch up to them and, and uh, make the trap go off on top of them. But... But that's a really good fix. I like that. I'm happy about that. So yeah, that's the new update. It's really good. I'm pretty excited about it. I cannot wait to get the Gravedigger. That's going to be amazing. And I just went over some of the notes. I didn't cover everything. Uh, but I think I covered the, the relevant ones. Or the most important ones. So yeah, that's that. And the Gravedigger should be coming to the weekly store tonight. Also, the Gravedigger and the, uh, the Rat Rod assault rifle, whatever that was called, is going to be in the weekly store. So you have one week to get those both. Uh, so make sure you save up your gold for that. They, they should both be pretty awesome weapons, I have a feeling. So how's about we open up some llamas? We got a couple super people llamas here. Uh, this was just out, I don't know, 
not too many days ago and I picked it up and I got two mythics out of it. So I'm gonna try again and see what happens. The two mythics I got were ones that I don't need, but two mythics, so I'm hopeful. I think uh, I just need one mythic marksman and that's all. And then I'll have all mythics in my survivor squad. Come on. What do we got? Ninja and Outlander. Uh, let's go Outlander. Recon Scout, okay. And a mythic! Who's that? What is that? Oh, martial artist. Okay. Well, I didn't have him, but... But, uh... I already have a mythic... Mythic guy in that slot, but that guy will have a dis different personality, so... I'll be able to switch things up, if need be. Come on. It would be so awesome if I got another mythic. Come on! Oh. 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 Nope. Well, that's all. Cool. Well, that's all right. Okay, one mythic. I can't complain about that. Yeah, last Super People Llama, I got two mythics. So maybe they up the. They must have upped the chances of of you getting mythics out of these Super People Llamas, because it seems like it's been happening happening way more often. So that's a good thing. Uh, but yeah. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.